Hey guys, the video today is going to be about critical points and second derivative testing for multivariate functions. So previously in the course, y'all learned about the gradient, and the gradient is a very useful tool in multivariate calculus. It allows you to um, have linear approximations to things, and it's also a first derivative in multivariate calculus. So in single variable calculus, the derivative of f, f prime, was used was set to zero in order to calculate critical points. For multivariate calculus, we do that by setting the gradient equal to zero. Also in single variable calculus, y'all use the second derivative in order to determine what type of critical point you got from setting f prime equal to zero. And that is done again here, except it's a bit more complex. You use a Hessian matrix and to determine what type of critical point you have for multivariate function. So the first function we're going to analyze today is f of xy equals 4 minus x times y minus x cubed over 4 minus y cubed over 4. The service is plotted via the contour plot 3D. The contour plot 3D takes a command and then the domain over which you want to plot the function that is in the first manual input of the command. So the function that's being plotted here, z equals equals f of x and y. So that's just saying, hey, z is being set to equal to this function. For every value of z, there, for every value of x and y, there should be a corresponding value of z. And that is being, what is being graphed right here for this function. And that is displayed over the domain of minus 2 to 2 for x, minus 2 to 2 for y, and 2 to 5 for z. These commands down here are the derivatives for the first, well, the partials for x and y um, for the first derivative, and then the second partials for xx, xy, yx, and yy. Big D, you'll see what that is later. They are also calculated as well because the input is not the output is not suppressed via the semicolon. The solve command is then used for to set f(x) and f(y) the two components of the gradient of this function equal to zero, and x and y are solved for for over the course of all real numbers. There are three ordered pairs that are produced by this: minus one one. 0, 0, and 1, minus 1. These three ordered pairs are then plotted for the x-coordinate, the y-coordinate, and then the corresponding z-value that is calculated via the function f. That is done for all three of these ordered pairs. For the first one, minus 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, minus 1. Then all these points are shown together with the surface on a 3D plot. Then the Hessian matrix is defined. And the Hessian matrix is simply just the all the second derivatives of second derivative partials of the function f. There's fx, x, fxy, fyx, and fyy. The determinants of the Hessian, given the ordered pairs minus 1, 1, 0, 0, and 1, minus 1, are thus shown. So if the determinant of the Hessian is greater than 0, you will have a, max, a min or max. If the ordered pair, if the determinant of the Hessian is less than 0, you'll have a saddle, a min or max. Big D, then, then the determinant of the Hessian is subtracted from Big D. And as you can see, that quantity equals zero, so therefore big D is the same as the Hessian, determinant of the Hessian. Second, another function is defined. This function is x squared times y squared minus 2xy squared plus 3x squared y minus 6 times xy. This service is then plotted via the contour 3D plot command again. And graph the domain of minus 5 to 5 for both for all x, y, and z. Then the derivatives are all defined. The solve command is then used again 
and five ordered pairs are resulting. Zero minus three, zero, zero, one minus three halves, two minus three, and two, zero. All five of these points are then graphed and called point B1 to point B5. Then all these points are then graphed with this function that we defined earlier. As you can see, the black points correspond to the critical points of the function. Next, the Hessian for this function is defined. And as we can see, there's only one min or max and four saddle points. Then the third function is defined. It is simply just a modified Gaussian, just xy basically times a Gaussian. Then this is plotted via the plot 3D commands over the domain at minus 3 to 3. And the plot range, which is a z in this case, is all, so you can see everything. Then all derivatives for this function are taken, and the Hessian is, or the determinant of the Hessian is determined via the big D3. The solve command is thus utilized again, and five ordered pairs are resulting. These five ordered pairs are all graphed and are put on a plot together with the original function. As you can see, all these points are corresponding to min or maxes or saddle points. Thank you and have a good day.